Well, getting back on your feet is hard, especially if you've been incarcerated. Fortunately, there's a local program that helps with education, job training, and parenting. And as 11 News reporter Megan Pringle explains, other cities are now paying attention. The photographs in Joe Jones' office show a picture of success. But these pictures don't tell the whole story. I went from, you know, being a, a Boy Scout, uh, being on the, the, being an altar boy in the church, to at 13 uh, picking up a hypodermic needle uh, full with heroin and injecting it, and went on to uh, use heroin and cocaine for 17 years. Uh, and uh, during that period, I also had a son uh, out of wedlock that I was not responsible for. So I was almost sort of like repeating the cycle. He got clean and broke the cycle, not just for him, but for other fathers. As Jones started giving back to the community, he realized there were plenty of great programs, but something was missing. Nowhere that I can recall when you read the literature did we give any early emphasis on dealing with the needs of men and, you know, as it relates to families. Now the Urban Center for Families offers job training, educational resources, and programs to teach responsible fathering. I really didn't have any positive role models in my life. Thomas Carroll was headed down a bad road until he got help. This place actually not just taught me how to get a job, how to be a better father, how to be a better, taught me how to be a better man, a better person. He and his girlfriend have a son together and now things are good. I'm very grateful that Thomas is in my son's life and can be there for him. The Center for Urban Families has been in Baltimore for 15 years, but it's the work that they've been doing with fathers that's getting other cities to pay attention. That's why they're meeting with other centers that have similar goals. They hope the program that has helped more than 30,000 people in Baltimore can do the same elsewhere in the world. With all that Joe Jones has accomplished, he believes that this is just the beginning. In West Baltimore, Megan Pringle, WBAL-TV 11 News.